God speaks all the time. We can hear Him if we try. Are you listening? Oh, are you listening? God leads every day. He doesn't stop or change. Will you follow? Oh, will you follow? There's a start and finish line. I'm going. Oh no, 
I'm gonna let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine all over the world I'm gonna let it shine Oh, let it shine all over the world I'm gonna let it shine mm, Let it shine all over the world I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine, let it shine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine Let it shine, let it shine let it shine, let it shine, I'm gonna let it shine, yeah. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Project Kids Online. Before we get started today, we have something to practice. Do you know what it is? That's right, it's our memory verse. And what do we do when we practice our verse? We stand up straight and tall like a soldier with our hands by our sides. Great job. Now, repeat after me. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11, one. Way to go, everybody, kiss your brain. We are gonna keep practicing that verse for the rest of this month. And after we get it all the way in our heads, where do we want it to go? That's right, our hearts. We want God's word to live in our heart forever. Today is a very special day. Do you know why? That's right, today is Father's Day. Today is a special day to make sure your dad knows just how much you love him and you're thankful for him. Check out this video with some of our church friends talking about their dads. What's that? That's a microphone. See the boom at the top. Where does your dad work? Oh, at Palmasinos. He makes buildings. He's an engineer. He makes the movies. He's a Houston firefighter. Does your dad love you like Jesus loves you? Yes. Yes, he does. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> what makes him special? Um, he's just so loving and like, anytime you meet him, you can just like tell, you can just see Jesus radiating in him, so. That he's one of God cre God's creations. Yeah, yeah, when it's morning, I wake up and then snuggle with Daddy. That's what I do. Oh, we have one of those snow globes. Is he a superhero? Of course. He could carry both of us at the same time. No, he can't fly. Does your dad know his Bible verses? Yes. Does he know his Bible verses? Yeah, kind of. John 3.16. John 3.16? Um, John 3.16. Of course, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Everybody is always wanting to like help out. Cool. Let's go. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy 
Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Today we're going to talk about some good news that Jesus gave us. And we can find that good news in this book. Do you know what it's called? That's right, this is the Bible. And the Bible is the word of God. And if we believe the Bible is the word of God, then that means every word is true. You've got it. So today we're going to talk about a story that we find in the New Testament. Jesus spent a lot of time praying and talking to God. Sometimes he prayed with people and sometimes he prayed by himself. The disciples knew that there was something special about Jesus' prayers and they asked him to teach them how. We call this prayer the Lord's Prayer. Can you say that? The Lord's Prayer. We can learn a lot about God from the way that Jesus prayed. Let's take a look at this video and hear what he said. The disciples often saw Jesus praying. He talked with his Father in heaven every day. Sometimes he would pray along with other people, while other times he would quietly leave the crowds or his small group of disciples to spend time alone with God. One day after he was finished praying, one of his disciples asked him, Master, please teach us to pray. We have heard your servant John the Baptist teaching about prayer. Can you also teach us how to talk to God? Of course, Jesus agreed, because this was an important topic for all of his disciples to learn. So he began to teach, When you pray, begin with Our Father in heaven. Holy is your name. Jesus taught his disciples that God is holy, and there is none like him. But even though God is so powerful and great, they could still call him Father, in the same way a young child talks to their own loving parent. He continued, your kingdom come, your will be done, here on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus called for his disciples to pray that the invisible kingdom of heaven would completely take over the kingdoms of the world. It was his will that every person on the earth would hear the good news of salvation so that they would have the opportunity to prepare for the coming king. Then Jesus addressed their physical needs with their daily concerns with, give us this day our daily bread. He encouraged the disciples to rely on God for food to eat, a place to live, and for clothes to wear. He urged them not to worry, but to trust their heavenly Father to provide everything they needed day by day. Next came these words, forgive us our sins as we forgive everyone who has wronged us. He was reminding them that in order to be forgiven by God, they must first forgive everyone who has hurt them. There is no sin that God cannot forgive. Likewise, there should be no wrongdoing that we cannot forgive in others. Jesus continued, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Most certainly the enemy of the world, Satan himself, was not happy about this conversation Jesus was having with his disciples. Through prayer, the disciples would receive strength to resist temptation and to avoid falling for the enemy's tricks. Prayer would be their rescue. Then Jesus taught them to be persistent in prayer. He said, let's say you go to your neighbor in the middle of the night with the urgent need. A friend of yours arrived unexpectedly and you have nothing to feed this hungry guest after a very long journey. But your neighbor does not want to be bothered because it is the middle of the night and everyone is sound asleep. Come back in the morning when it is day and the household is awake, but you continue to pound on the door, confident that if you persist, he will finally give you what you desperately need. Don't you think after all of this, your friend would finally give you the loaves? Jesus urged the disciples to pray with the same determination and persistence. He taught them to never give up. How encouraged the disciples were to learn that they could talk to an all-powerful God as their father and that he would provide for their needs, forgive their sins, and protect them from their enemies. The kingdom belongs to God and his power and glory 
is forever. When Jesus was teaching people how to pray, he started by saying something very important. Did you hear what he called God? Father. Nobody had ever thought about God as their father before. People knew that God was strong and he was mighty and he could answer their prayers, but they didn't know that we can be close to him like with a daddy. You know, lots of families are different. Some of us might have a lot of special things that you do with your dad every day. Some of us don't see our dad very often, or he might not even live in the same house. But here's the good news. Jesus showed us that we get to call God our Father. Let's think about some ways that God is like a daddy to us. Number one, God protects us. Can you think of a time in your life that God kept you safe? I can. We can also remember times in the Bible where God stepped in and fought for his people, like with David and Goliath. Number two, God also gives us what we need. The Bible says that God takes care of the birds and the flowers, and He loves us way more than that. Did you know that He even knows how many hairs you have on your head? God says that we don't have to worry because He will always give us exactly what we need. And finally, God loves us. He has very good plans for us. God is our Heavenly Father, and He's crazy about you. He made you just the way you are, He thinks about you, and He loves when you talk to Him through prayer. In fact, He loves you so much that He wants to be with you forever. That's why He sent Jesus to take all the sin out of our hearts so that we can be close with Him forever. Let's pray. God, thank you for making a way for me to be close to you. I know that you protect me, you provide for me, and you love me. Help me to trust you and come to you as my heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.